That's something you learn to do really well when you're son to immigrant parents and they look down on you with absolute disdain when you buy anything full price. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while since the last upload and I apologize for that, but I'm here today to talk to you about some style tips. Uh, I bought a few new pieces recently and I just wanted to share those with you because I know that you know when certain clothing styles come in trend, it's hard to just overhaul your entire wardrobe and spend a ton of money all at once just overhauling everything and that's something that I typically can't really afford to do um, especially not like you know every season or something like that so I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys a couple of new pieces that I got um, and where I got them and how budget friendly they are in case you do want to go ahead and you know buy something that's a little bit more trendy but uh, anyway speaking of trends uh it is winter now that is the new trend apparently i guess we had our first snowfall today so i went ahead and actually got a pair of um sorel um chelsea boots uh that are waterproof for the winter so i'm going to show you guys those too i'm going to unbox those now so stay tuned sit back and relax and enjoy the video all right so sorel i would say is like one of those higher end brands for boots but they're not like too expensive I think I paid only about $89 or $90. Uh, these were on sale like 50% off. So regular price is about 200 bucks. But I did go with the Chelsea boot, which is like a laceless boot, as you can see here. Uh, I'll take these inserts out. And basically I got laceless because, or slip-on style, because um, I wanted something that was going to be really easy to take on and off, obviously. Um, and I also just like the style. Like these were, Chelsea boots were probably at their peak in terms of popularity in like 2019, I would say. Like just before COVID. And I love how we always use COVID as like the reference for when, uh, you know, looking back in the past now. And I think it's going to be like that for a long time. But um, anyway, I'm going to take this off. But yeah, anyway, the biggest um, reason that I decided to go with Sorel is that they've just been around for a long time and I know that a lot of their products are waterproof and I needed something waterproof and something kind of stylish for work. I don't know how much I'll wear these outside of work, to be honest, because I do have another pair of boots that I kind of want to use and don't want to ruin these and don't want to overuse them. And these are suede. I'm not sure if you can tell from that angle, so I'll probably get you guys another angle so you can see these a bit better. But they are suede, um, which means that the salt might um, attack these quite aggressively. So what I'm going to make sure to do is hit them with um, some of that, you know, coating that you can buy at the shoe store, like Foot Locker or Amazon or wherever else, and just hit them a few times with that coating. That way they'll just resist the salt a bit more. Um, I don't need them to be any more water resistant because they're already waterproof, like I said. So uh, just to protect against salt, I'm going to hit them with a few coats of that spray. And uh, yeah, I'll have a nice pair of waterproof boots for work and for this 2023 winter season. So this is an oversized t-shirt by Only and Sons. It's a company that you can find if you're in Canada, you can find it at the Bay. I'm not sure where else they sell it. Maybe, I think I've seen some stuff at Winners and Marshalls, but primarily you can find it at the Bay and it's almost always on clearance. Like maybe not all 100% of their items are on clearance all the time, I mean, what company ever is, but definitely you can always find Only in Sun stuff in the clearance rack at the bay in the men's section. So this is a oversized tee. You can see the sleeves come down almost to my elbows. And I know that a few years ago, the tighter shirts with like the rolled, like the sleeves that stop right above the bicep and just off the shoulder cap um, were really in style. And, you know, I was one of those people that would roll up my sleeves on every shirt. Um, because I wanted to just show off as much of the arm as possible, but that's not really in style. Currently, um, it's kind of more in style to cover up the biceps and uh, have a, a sleeve that sort of comes just above the elbow, just like this one does. This is honestly like a perfect fitting shirt because it's still very roomy as well in uh, the midsection here. It's perfect for bulking season, which we are currently in, if you couldn't tell. But... Um, yeah, it's like a base camp t-shirt, uh, camp to base is what it's called. But this was cheap, guys. This was like 45% off, um, and original price on it was, I think, like $35 or something like that. So I think I only paid like, you know, 15 or 20 bucks for this shirt. And for something that's in style, in trend, that's like a very fair price to pay for something that's decent quality. Uh, so 
Next, we're gonna move on to the pants. Uh, I know you can't really see like the bottom of the pants, so I'll pan down at some point so you can see. That. That's really like the main feature of these pants, to be honest, is the fact that they don't taper anymore. So that's not really in style. Tapered pants are no longer, I don't wanna say they're not in style because I think they always will be in style, um, especially depending on the look that you're going for. But what's really trendy right now is to have more flared out, um, and I'll just say mostly like straight legs, not not even a flare on them, but just having some baggy pants. I guess baggy is the right word to use. Just overall baggy pants are back in, um, not sagging. So this is a little uncomfortable for me because I'm not in my best shape, but I will show, lift my shirt and show you. I'm not sagging these at all. They come right up to my belly button. They're almost like not high waisted, but they are definitely like mid waist. You don't want to sag your pants ever to be honest. Um, but you can see they start high up on the waist here and uh, they, they've got sort of like a low crotch drop just naturally, that's just how the pants are. Um, so that's kind of stylish right now. The loop here on the side, um, the pockets, these are called carpenter pants and it's because it has these like extra pockets in the loop for a hammer. Um, and it's like a canvas type material, which is really sick actually for if you have a pet, uh, hair comes off these really easily with a lint roller. It doesn't get stuck in like it does with fleece and other materials and cotton and stuff. Uh, they just sort of sits on top of this canvas material and it just comes right off with a lint roller. And sometimes you can even just brush it off with your hand and it comes off. So highly recommend for pet owners uh, and just highly recommend overall because these were only like 24 bucks from Walmart. 24 Canadian from Walmart. Like you cannot beef that for something that, okay, granted is maybe not like, the car, all the cargo pants that are in style that a lot of other people wear, but you know, this is a really budget friendly option to get something that, that has the shape that's in style right now. Um, so this is a great option, I think, and a great outfit that costs like less than 50 bucks. All right. So this is the next outfit. This is, I'll start from the bottom up. I've got some rustler. They're called rustler jeans from Walmart. Um, this is like knockoff Levi's basically. Um, and they are not bad for what you pay for them. These are also sub $30 Canadian at Walmart, which is like honestly unbelievable for denim. Um, I'm not sure how long they'll last to be honest, but again, if you are looking for budget tips, you know, budget style tips, you can't really expect to pay like a hundred plus dollar for denim to get something in the budget category. These are under 30 bucks. They'll get you there and they'll get you the shape that you're looking for, the style that you're looking for that's trending right now, like the wash in terms of the denim wash. These are the right color. They're the right shape for what's in style right now. So I highly recommend uh, giving these a look at Walmart next time you're there. Again, I'm not sagging these jeans. I'm wearing them just below the belly button. So they're like mid-waisted to high-waisted jeans. Uh, and that is how they're meant to be worn as well. That's the style from like back in the 80s and 90s. Um, Next is the t-shirt. So in contrast to what I said before with oversized tees, those are definitely primarily what's uh, in style or trending right now. Uh, so these Rambo t-shirts are tighter fitting a little bit, but still have a lot of room as you can see down here in the mid waist area. Uh, and they do fishtail front and back. Uh, so they do give like extra length, which I like. I don't like when shirts are too short. And then obviously, as you can see, the shoulder um, has like a seam there that's sort of right off the shoulder cap. So definitely a good shirt to show off the arms uh, if you have arms unlike me, but that's why I wear this sweater. And this is a Zara jacket. So I got this at Marshall's. I did not get this directly from Zara. And this is actually the exact same material that those other pants I wore were, the carpenter pants. It's that sort of canvas material. So again, a great option for people that have pets, uh, that deal with a lot of pet hair. This will, the hair will just come right off of this if you lint roll it. Um, and just very durable to stains, and anyth anything like that. I really like the inside lining, that sort of old school vintage or retro style uh, check on the inside. I really like that. And then the brass, um, the brass or I think it's brass. I don't think it's copper. Yeah, the brass like accents or buttons. Uh, those are really nice too. This kind of gives it like a vintage-y, uh, feel to this jacket and I did get this jacket on a really good deal at Marshall's I believe I think it was like 
under $40, which is a pretty good price for a sweater jacket or a shacket if you're Paul Lozon, if you know, you know. And then I got this Young LA t-shirt for a big sale that Young LA had back when they had reached a million followers. They did a massive sale and I picked up a few items for that sale. So the key word to remember out of this video is just get everything on sale. That's something you learn to do really well when you're son to immigrant parents and they look down on you with absolute disdain when you buy anything full price. All right, and the final outfit I'm gonna share with you guys today is this all black outfit. I think everyone can get behind all black, uh, especially if you are a bit of a bigger boy out there. Um, black is actually one of those colors or shades that's actually gonna not hide it. We're not looking to be ashamed of our bodies and stuff like that, but it definitely, you know, white definitely highlights and accentuates curves. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking to not do that, you know, if you're a little bit self-conscious uh, about how you look right now, obviously the point of this channel is sharing my journey through that experience. And, um, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be at the point where I'm fully confident in how I look. So I still tend to wear a lot of black and darker colors for that reason. You know, this is a, an outfit that you'll definitely like because it does make you feel a bit more confident if you are a bit more self-conscious. But anyway, uh, these again are Walmart jeans. These are just pure black uh, Levi Strauss signature series, which I think is like their Levi Strauss's cheap version that they give to you know stores like Walmart and stuff. Like they probably have some kind of a contract where they can supply Walmart with jeans at an affordable price. Uh, and this is their signature series. So these are really standard fitting jeans. These are not... If any of you drive a Honda with a Canon on the back of it, you need to go get a new car right now because everybody hates you, including me. Oh, that's so funny. I'm looking out of my window right now and no cap, a Mustang literally just lost control of their car. The most Mustang thing to do ever. I know it's winter, I know it's the first snowfall, but it literally had to be a Mustang, didn't it? Shout out to you, Paul, that was probably you. But, um, but anyway, back to the outfit. These are very traditional uh, fit jeans. There's nothing special in terms of them being in style or anything, but I just wanted to highlight that you can get plain black jeans uh, that are great for work. I wear these to work a lot. And then I also can wear them to like a, I actually wore them yesterday to like a engagement dinner. Um, and I put a nice black blazer over a dress shirt. And then I wore these jeans with some nice shoes. And that was a great uh, outfit. So black jeans, traditional uh, cut are very, very versatile. You can wear them anywhere at work or a semi-formal event or even just casually. And in this case, I've dressed it down a little bit with a crew neck sweater. You can't go wrong with a crew neck, honestly. Uh, always will be in style till the end of time, in my opinion. Um, hoodies, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big hoodie fan, uh, especially the, like the pullover hoodies. Um, just not really my style. I guess I don't wear hoods a lot but I prefer to wear a hat. So I really like crew necks for that reason. So this is a champion crew neck, but I got it from my church, Slate Church. So it's branded uh, with Slate on it, on the top left breast here, which is what that says. Um, and yeah, it's just very nicely fitting, very comfortable. Um, not much to say about the crew neck other than it's always gonna be in style in my opinion. And it, they're always a comfortable option. So. So as far as price goes with this outfit, the jeans were $29. Um, the other two pants I showed you were $24 each, which is just hilariously, ridiculously cheap. But these were $29, still ridiculously cheap for black denim. But keep in mind, again, these are like cheaper brands and it's Walmart branding. So you can't expect these to last forever and they might start fraying, you know, after about a year of wearing them or something like that. And I'm not even sure how the wash, especially on these black jeans is going to hold up. I've never washed them yet. Um, cause I haven't had to yet. And that's another tip. Don't wash your jeans as much as you can, like try to avoid washing them as much as you can, but also guys don't let them stink. Like, come on, you will get nose blind and you will probably end up stinking at some point if you never wash them especially if it's been like six or seven months, but jeans are not to be washed, meant to be washed all the time. But with that being said, keep them clean so that you don't have to wash them, right? If you get them dirty, throw them in the wash, but try to be as clean as you can because you want these washes and the color in the denim to hold up as much as possible, especially with cheaper stuff. 
With more expensive stuff, you can get away with um, washing it more often because it's just more durable. So with that being said, you know, if you want something that's durable and gonna last a long time and you can wash it as much as you want, you have to pay to play. You have to pay the price of what it's gonna be to get an expensive pair of denim. But if you wanna be a little bit more budget friendly and get things from Walmart or just you know do what you can until you get to the point in life where you can buy the expensive clothing, you know, you just might have to do what I do and you know get some stuff at Walmart, get some stuff at you know uh, what do they call them department stores like Marshalls and stuff. Uh, just just you know keep that in mind if you're looking to get something a little bit more on the budget friendly side of things. Sorry, that was a whole rant on its own. But this sweater was about forty bucks, and that's typically what you can expect to pay for a decent crew neck sweater is anywhere between like thirty to forty bucks, depending on you know the brand. Sometimes they can even go up as past a hundred bucks. Like Fear of God Essentials. That's a great brand, but you're looking at maybe like 200 bucks for a crew neck sweater or a hoodie. So sky's the limit when it comes to branding, but um, I think 40 bucks for this was really fair and that's hence why I bought it. Thanks again guys. Thanks again guys for tuning into this video. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope you learned how to refresh your wardrobe a little bit if that's something you've been meaning to do and you just haven't got around to yet. Um, and you have seen maybe some stuff out there style wise and you just like you've looked at prices at some of the big brands out there and you're just like i can't really afford this right now but i still want to spruce up my wardrobe a little bit hopefully this helped you out um i'm by no means rich or well off or wealthy in any way and i'm just doing the best i can to sort of keep my wardrobe relevant every like sort of year or season at a time by going to Walmart, going to you know places like this where I can get some stuff that's affordable but also trendy. Uh, I hope you guys could get some tips if you're looking to do the same because this channel is all about you know health and fitness but a part of that is also feeling good and feeling confident in what you're wearing too. Uh, and as you start to lose weight and as you start to go on your your journey through life and especially a weight loss journey, you start to you know get more confident with what you're wearing and you want to explore more and you want to challenge yourself a little bit style wise. And that's definitely what I found myself doing as I've been on this, this health journey and I've really enjoyed it. So, so again, hopefully I could provide some value to you guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned the length of this video. Be sure to like comment and subscribe. If you're still watching, I'd really appreciate that and be sure to stay tuned for the next video. I have no idea what it'll be or when it'll come out, but the fact that you guys watch this channel and subscribe and all that, really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. And I'm going to keep rolling out the videos as long as I enjoy doing it because I definitely still do. So thank you so much again and till next time.